إني ألقى الإيناس في صومي وصلاتي ودعائي للرحمن وجميع الطاعات. Another amazing part of the Quranic miracle is the structure of the Quran. Now, you have to understand something before I begin, is that the Quran was a response of revelation. In other words, that really when someone would come to the Prophet Muhammad with an inquiry, uh, for example, they'd ask him about gambling, or they'd ask him about the soul, they'd ask him about anything, that the Prophet Muhammad would come and return, he would basically answer them in the form of Quran, in the form of revelation, which means he had no time to really put everything together. He had no time to think about, okay, where is this going to be actually put in terms of the actual Qur'an? Despite the fact that it was circumstantial, the revelation was circumstantial, you'll find that the Qur'an really is interwoven in an interknitted way, which is really unbelievable if you think about it. I'll give you one example. Uh, if you look at Surah Al-Baqarah, which is the second chapter of the Qur'an, it's a chapter of 286 verses, and it is the biggest chapter of the Quran, which took more than two years to be revealed in its entirety. Yet, when you look at this chapter, you'll find that in the beginning, there are certain topics that correspond exactly with the end. What I mean by that is the following, as you'll be seeing, hopefully, on the screen. At the beginning, the first topic that was talked about corresponds to the last topic that is referred to which is faith and unbelief. The second topic that is referred to corresponds with the second last topic, and so on and so forth, in such a way which would make the chapter, which is comprising of 286 verses, absolutely symmetrical. In this way, the Quran draws an unbelievable, or creates an unbelievable structure, which could not have been predicted, which could not have been manufactured, considering the fact that the Prophet could not have known what the circumstances of the revelation would have been. And in the middle of this chapter, it says, We have certainly made you a middle and balanced nation. Exactly in the middle, in, chapter, in verse 143. But the idea is the structure is completely coherent and is completely symmetrical. So to do this would require knowledge of the unseen or knowledge of future events. So think about how that is the way it is. Inni alqal inas fi sawmi wa salati wa du'ai lil rahman wa jami'i ta